We've all seen clouds that look like different things in the sky, but have you ever seen one that looked like a planet? We'll look at a video that shows just that. Use digital forensics to determine is this real or is it fake? When this was brought to my attention today, it reminded me of another project I did a while back for someone else. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the end of this so that we'll have kind of a two for one in today's video. As always, the, I'll play a short clip of the video we're going to take a look at. The source for this will be linked in the description of this video. This one comes from China. Okay, software we're using for this is Forensically. The link for it's in the description. This is free software. You don't have to install anything. It just works right in your browser. So you can try this on your own for anything that you encounter photos or videos yourself. With videos you just need to take a screenshot you're going to look for the digital signatures in the video and by capturing a screenshot you're just working with what's already there. This first screenshot that I have uh, we're going to take a look at using the error level analysis that'll bring out the digital signatures that we're looking for to see if there's anything anything that's been altered. First thing I want to do is take a look at my JPEG analysis. We see my quality is at 90 so I want to set my error level analysis to that, which it is by default. So as soon as I go over here, it's already set at 90. You can see that there. I am going to go ahead and bump up my error scale here. You don't have to do that on your own, but I'm going to do it here for just to make it easier for everyone to see. And when I do that, we see a lot of these grays and then some of this on the dashboard here. Some of these, a little bit of, little bit of difference here. Uh, but nothing too, too, um, nothing that really stands out except for the side here. And that's just the edge of the video. When I took this particular screenshot, uh, the wideness of my shot is a little wider than the video itself. So it's catching the edge of that video. And you can see that on both sides of this particular shot. But with a lot of these things what you're looking for is just stuff that stands out with the digital signatures with these gray we see a lot of this gray in the background and everything but sometimes what stands out is not what you see but what you don't see if we take a look at this particular screenshot the top of our telephone pole here or our street light it's actually a street light we don't see the top of that and this will become important later but if we take a look at, back at a look at the error level analysis, we see in the background, even in front of in the car, we see all these grays. But right here, where the cloud that we're really interested in is in the image, there's really not any of those grays. So let's take a look at our second screenshot here. We're going to see kind of a similar thing. The JPEG uh, quality is going to be the same, so I don't have to mess with that at all. But we see the same thing. We get a little bit stuff on the dashboard here, right around there. And then this, these gray lines for our background, the road and the sky, but right where this cloud that looks like a planet is in the sky, we don't see any of those gray lines it's not nearly as you can it just stands right out you see there's all these gray lines throughout the whole thing it's pretty uniform but then it's just this big empty spot right where our planet is we also don't don't see the tops of these streets street lamps here either and that this is going to stand out even more in our third image with this one We've got some of the car sticking in here. This is the rear view mirror. And then we've got our street lamp. Part of our street lamp is there. You can see it there sticking out of the side. But you don't see the top of it. There's a missing section here. So like I said, it's sometimes it's not what you see, it's what you don't see. And that's the same with our error level analysis. We're getting the same kind of stuff around the dashboard and some near the edge of my screenshot but we're getting the grays throughout everything these gray little lines these are all digital signatures but there's nothing right here where the planet is it's just a big void of those of those signatures 
So that's something different. That's, there's, there's something different about the digital signatures of that part of the image. And let's take a look at, I've got one more shot to look at. This one really emphasizes the telephone. Once the, the part of the image that overlaps it here, the telephone just disappears. This should be way up in the sky. There's no way this should be in front of the telephone. Or this, well, it's not a telephone, it's a light post, but there's no way it should be overlapping in front of that. And when we take a look at the screen, or the error level analysis, we get the same story. There's a whole bunch of gray. We got our stuff at the bottom here for our dashboard. And then some things at the edge of my screenshot. But there's not hardly anything. This is this big void where we should still see those gray signatures. But there's nothing there where this planet, cloud-like planet, or cloud-looking planet, I guess you'd say, is allegedly in the film. So you can, I can say definitively this has been changed, this has been altered, and um, I've never seen a cloud look like that, and it looked a little too suspicious. I mean, it's pretty close, you know, it's, it's a bit believable, and that's the thing with a lot of these things is they're just on the edge of what people will accept as, you know, possible, and in this case, it turns out to be fake, and if you actually watch the clip, um, as the light posts are coming up out of that, uh, um, towards the car, you'll see their tops of them disappear as they encounter this part that's been doctored and then they reappear as soon as they exit out of it. So, pretty sloppy job as far as the after effects on this particular clip. But as promised, I'm going to show you another one that this reminded me of another project I worked on for someone else a few months back. I'm going to show you a clip of that, and then we're going to take a look at that real quick. Okay, we've got two things we're looking at in this clip. We've got our planet in our rainbow circle over here. Taking a look at the error level analysis, and it just jumps out right away. We see a bunch of these crazy blue signatures in front of our planet, and some of this orange stuff in front of the rainbow circle. But nothing nearly like that in the sky, or even in our tree tree line here or even down on the ground we've got a bunch of these blues on the edge of my screenshot and you can kind of use that as a comparison these it looks similar to the signatures we're seeing near the planet and we get a little bit of orange here but this really stands out here for our circular rainbow in the sky. We'll take a look at the next screenshot I have. This was when it zoomed in on the planet and you see just right away we've got all these extra signatures that are something that's been changed afterwards. We've got a lot of the gray like you see in the background and this is the edge of my screenshot and you see there's a lot of distortion there similar to what we're seeing with this with these blue ones for our planet. Uh, so this one's been doctored. We'll take a look just to confirm in a third screenshot here. And again, we've got these blue edited, you know, different digital signatures than the rest of the image. We're seeing some more blue and orange because we got some of our little rainbow peeking in in this one. But yeah, this one's been definitely doctored. So this is a pretty classic one that you'll see. You'll see just stuff stands out right away, and it's pretty obvious. From the very get-go, what you're looking at has been changed. The digital signatures are different from the original film. This person just feel, just filmed the sky in a field and then added it, added the planet and the rainbow circle in After Effects. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And um, 
If you have anything that you want to send to me to look at, whether it be a photograph or a video, go ahead and send it to the email. I'll link, put that in the description. And of course, the, the source for this video that we looked at, the clip of, I'm going to put the source for that. It comes from Twitter. And uh, you can see the original, the full video. I got most of it in the clip that I showed you, but there is a little extra that if you want to watch the whole thing you can go to the source of it there. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and go ahead and enjoy yourself. Have a great day.